What's up everyone, your Bhattapesh Kumar here and cockpits are a very mysterious place. You know, we as pilots, we spend thousands and thousands of hours in the cockpit and the people outside, the non-aviation public or the passengers, they have absolutely no idea what is going on inside the cockpit. And there are a few misconceptions as well. So people think that certain things can be done in the cockpit, but they cannot be done. And today I'm gonna be telling you about 10 things that you absolutely cannot do in the cockpit. Let's get started. That is something you cannot do. We cannot play music in the cockpit at any given point of time. As per regulations, playing music in the cockpit is absolutely not allowed. Yeah, hey. Every day. The reason is because if you play music in the cockpit then you will not be able to hear all the RT conversations and the conversation with the ATC which goes on continuously, which has to be monitored non-stop. So as a result, music is a big no-no in the cockpit. Now this is also not allowed. We cannot have personal conversations or we cannot have private conversations or time pass or you know chugli kare. We cannot do that in the cockpit. It is allowed, but not in the critical phases of flight. So critical phase of flight are basically whenever the aircraft is taxiing, taking off, landing, or whenever below 10,000 feet. So as soon as you've descended below 10,000 feet, all of this alto falto ki conversation, all of this teri bandi kaisi hai and you know aaj khane mein kya banega ghar ja ke and hum kaun si vacation pe gaye the all these talks have to stop because when you are below 10,000 feet you are in a critical phase of flight haan bhai aam khayega eating the same food is not allowed both the first officer and the captain are not allowed to have the same food The reason is, if by chance some particular food, if it's poisoned or if it's ruined or if something is wrong with the food, then if both the people have had the same food, then there's a good chance that both of them might end up falling sick. Then who's gonna fly the aircraft? So as a result, the captain and the first officer always have separate meals. In the sense, they will not eat the same food. And on the topic of food, you also cannot have food at the same time. So if both the captain and the first officer are enjoying their food, they're you know having the time of their life, eating the lovely dishes that their wives have made for them or their girlfriend or their mother has made for them and they will totally forget about the aircraft. Then who's flying the aircraft at that time when both of them are having food at the same time? So as a rule, always either the captain will have the food first or the first officer will have the food first and the other person will wait and once the captain or the first officer has finished their food, then the other person will eat. This sunset is good, let's take a photo of it. Let's take a little bit of a photo. This is again not allowed. Now this is a very controversial topic because in India specifically this is not allowed. A few countries do allow cockpit photography in the sense the rules are not very strict or it's a grey area. So you will find that a lot of foreign pilots, especially from the Middle East or from the Europe or USA, they usually put up a lot of cockpit photos or a lot of cockpit videos. However, in India, DGC has totally banned photography in the aircraft. So whenever the aircraft is in any phase of flight, be it on the ground while taxiing, takeoff, landing, cruise, climb, descent, anything, photography on board an aircraft is absolutely not allowed as per DGCA. They think that it is a danger to flight safety and well, can't help it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you think clicking photos in the cruise segment of a flight, is it a violation? Is it dangerous? Do you think it's unsafe? Let me know in the comments below. Shanti. You cannot have this Shanti in the cockpit. A pilot cannot be alone in the cockpit. One single pilot in the cockpit is absolutely not allowed. So normally, as you all know, there are two pilots in commercial flights, mostly. 99.99% you'll have two pilots flying an aircraft. If one of the pilots has to go out to use the washroom or has to go out for something else, the other pilot cannot be alone in the cockpit. 
the other pilot will always have someone else and that someone else will always be a cabin crew so the cabin crew will come into the cockpit and the other pilot will go out use the washroom and whatever and then come back and then the cabin crew will leave this was specially enforced after the german wings crash wherein a first officer crashed the aircraft into the mountains when the captain had gone out to use the washroom so ever since everywhere in the world you will never find a pilot all alone in the cockpit aaja bat aaj tere ko main masti landing karke dikhata hu not happening pilots cannot have a cabin crew sitting in the cockpit for take off or for landing at all this is absolutely against the regulations there have been instances where pilots have been caught with the cabin crew sitting in the cockpit and the cabin crew just requested the captains that you know i want to see a take off or a landing this especially happens with all the new crew so when they are very new to aviation they want to see how a take off or a landing looks like from the cockpit so a lot of people used to oblige the crew ki you know baith jao koi dikkat nahi hai but however legally it is absolutely not allowed you cannot have a cabin crew sitting in the cockpit for take off or for landing we can't sleep sleep in the cockpit although authorized it's there with a lot of conditions you can't just randomly go to sleep in the cockpit and let the airplane fly on its own there are lots of regulations which govern it and which define when you can have that controlled rest in the cockpit and one of those regulations is the flight has to be longer than 3 hours So if your flight is shorter than 3 hours your pilot is legally not authorized to sleep in the cockpit. Can't do that. We cannot fly the aircraft manually at high altitudes. So there is something known as RVSM airspace. RVSM stands for reduced vertical separation minima. It is applicable between flight level 290 or which is 29000 feet all the way till 41000 feet. The conditions for an aircraft to fly in RVSM airspace are many and one of those conditions is the autopilot has to be engaged so a pilot cannot fly an aircraft manually by hand whenever the aircraft is above 29000 feet aur darwaza khulla chhod de yaar thodi thandi hawa aan de can't do that again the pilots cannot leave the cockpit door open at any time during the flight the cockpit door has to be always and always locked it only has to be opened momentarily during a flight for the passage of either the cabin crew or the pilots or someone who is authorized to enter the cockpit and even that is done with a lot of precautions so this was specially enforced after 911 wherein as i'm sure all of you know what happened so after that the cockpit doors were reinforced and the cockpit entry procedures for aircraft were redefined so as per the new procedures only the people who are authorized to enter the cockpit will enter the cockpit and they will for sure shut the door behind them you will never find any cockpit door open unnecessarily either on the ground or in flight and those were the 10 things that we as pilots can not do in the cockpit if you guys like the video please do give it a thumbs up also i will be doing a q and a video very soon so you guys can post all your questions to me either in the comments or you can send them to me on my instagram dms I try and reply to all the messages on Instagram so do drop me a text on Instagram you can also follow me there link in the description I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one